cooperation. Where are you from? Okay, so I'm from originally I'm from Morocco and France mm -hmm. and Italy. Yeah. But I've lived everywhere. I was born in Hong Kong. Yeah. But then I moved to the US for wow. eight years. Yeah. And then I moved to Europe. Wow. And now I'm here. Wow. Mm -hmm. And what about you? She her life is so much more interesting <laughs> than mine. No, yeah. you're so cool. <laughs> But I'm just, I'm from California. I grew up in San Bernardino until about a year ago, mm -hmm. and I moved to Tokyo. Yeah. You said you live in Japan now. Yes. Yeah. How long have you lived yes. in Japan? So I moved six months ago. Yeah. I moved about a year ago. Yeah. You went to the same school or something? Uh, no, college? actually, so I go to an international school. Yeah. Um, but we were supposed to go to the same school. Yeah. She's coming next year, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, so yeah. This is actually our first time meeting yeah, each other in person. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? So how did you get? No, get to know um, each other. Online, online. Ah, yeah. So yes. what happened was I went to summer school at yeah. her school, yeah. and I met like people in her friend group and stuff. She didn't go to summer school yeah. though. Yeah. But then I just like I was put into like a group chat yeah. on Snapchat. We were, like, texting. And I started either. texting. Yeah. yeah. And then we wanted to hang out. So yeah. yeah. So what was your first impression of Japan? Because mm, 40 million people is a lot. Yeah. I thought there'd be a lot more people and it'd be more crowded, but. I really like that there's personal space and mm -hmm. I feel like everyone's so nice and I, I love Japan so much. Wow, yeah. thank you. Uh, I was really excited to move here. Mm -hmm, same. And at first it was a little hard because like I didn't have many friends and I felt lonely and stuff. Mm -hmm. But like now that I have friends, it's yeah, so exactly. cool yeah. and it's just so fun to hang out here. Mm -hmm. There's and you so can many go things to, like, to do. So many places and yes, everything. Yes, yes. And everyone's so kind. Yeah. Oh, like you guys are so yes. nice. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You yes. live in so many countries, right. so living in Japan, is any difference between um, other countries? So I lived in New York, which I find is pretty similar, like all the big buildings and everything. Yeah. But I lived in Switzerland, like France, next yeah. to France, um, and it was quite small countryside, mm -hmm. but I prefer Japan a lot more. I think Japan is probably one of my favorite countries I've lived in so far. What is so different? Probably there's a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. You never get bored, right? Like yeah. there's always something yeah. to do. There's a lot of skyscrapers, but there's yeah. so much culture at the same time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think there's so much culture and everything. I just really like it here. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's mm -hmm. just... It's just so cool. Like she said, you never get bored. Like yeah. there's mm -hmm. so many things to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, I'm I love the food. Yeah, the food is so good. We love it so like ramen, sushi, everything. I love it so much. You said you you get never bored here yeah. in Japan, and so. it's cheap too. Oh, it's yeah. like it's, the food is so cheap. Like yeah. we can get like a ramen like next to my house, like a ramen for like six hundred yen. It's so cheap. Yeah, yeah that's so yeah. true. After re living in Japan, mm -hmm. what Japanese food would you often eat? I don't know. Wait, what's your favorite Japanese food? I don't know. They're so There's good. There's so much. It's so, so much. hard to choose. I think street food, Japanese, street like, food. Oh, yeah. um, what's it called? You know the the squid balls, the squid. Uh, oh, takoyaki. Takoyaki. Yeah, I love that. It's my ah. favorite. It's so good. Uh, well, like obviously ramen is really good. Mm. Yeah. I think I eat a lot of fish on a daily mm. basis. Where do you eat sushi? There's like a sushi go round place, like ah, yeah. the like oh, conveyor belt yeah, sushi. Yeah, yeah. That's very so fun. Good. Yeah, yeah, so I go there all the time. Yeah, go. and very cheap. Yes, yes. yes. it's yeah. so cheap. I love when it goes around. It's so good. And sometimes sushi marry go around mm -hmm. uh, uh, serve takoyaki too. Yes, yes, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so good. <laughs> what do you think? The very Japanese thing in Japan. I think like all the kindness. Yes. Like that's a very cultural yeah, thing. Exactly. And also like the quiet. It's yeah, so quiet it's, it's on so the train. It's so quiet. And like. Even though there's so many people and everything, everyone has their own personal space. And like, I think everyone's just so nice. And yeah, I think that's just like, it's really stereotypical that Japanese people are like really nice and respectful. I think the respect in Japan is like, there's yeah. so much respect and everything. Yeah, I love how respectful everyone is. Like, like we lived in America, the people are not very respectful. Yeah, <laughs> like you, you lived yeah. in Atlanta. Yeah, and New York, so. Mm -hmm. I live in LA, Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you know. Yeah, the, I still love it, but yeah. like not very. Yeah, the kind. Pe like ever since like we've been to Japan, mm -hmm. it's so much better than like where we've lived before. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I think like McDonald's, <laughs> uh, there are some shops and restaurants. It's also in America. Yeah, exactly. yeah in Japan too. Yeah. Which do you like better, Japanese McDonald's or American mm -hmm. McDonald's? I don't know. Actually, I feel like. Japanese McDonald's is very fresh, mm -hmm. and like American McDonald's is very big. It's so yeah. big. Yeah. No, I think I like Japanese McDonald's yeah, more. Yeah. I think there's more options. Yeah, exactly. And also, I don't feel as sick. Like yeah, I, exactly. I was in America last week, mm -hmm. yeah. so and I ate sugar. McDonald's, and yeah. I felt so sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm so, not gonna lie. It's so unhealthy, and Japan, 
Jap- like even though McDonald's is not healthy at all, mm-hmm. I yeah. feel like Japanese McDonald's is like a lot better than American mm-hmm. McDonald's. Yeah. Actually. Is there anything you wondering or you you think it's strange here in Japan? Mm-hmm. What do you think? I don't really know. I feel like I think I've just gotten so used to everything. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. I feel like Japan's so like so perfect. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's overall like, very perfect. Oh, oh. Is there any change to yourself after living in Japan? Mm, yeah, actually, I feel like I've gotten a lot in America. People talk quite loud. I feel like, but I feel like here I've gotten more quieter and more calm. You know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. for me, okay, this is gonna sound so weird, but I got skinnier. Skinnier? Yes. <laughs> wow. No, 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 no. Like America, the food so like. Uh-huh. Uh, like, I love the food, but it's so like it's I so love so much it's weight. Food. Like I feel like yeah, the food's so healthy. We just get like skinnier and everything. Yeah. And I, yeah, I didn't even try. And, yeah, and I exactly. Got skinnier. Yeah, wow. and I I feel a lot more, healthier. Yeah. I have I'm a lot more energetic and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. also, like like she said, I think I've gotten a little more quiet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I'm still very loud and stuff. But <laughs> like so I've gotten I've gotten quieter yeah. and kind of more to myself, not yeah. as extroverted. So you did you write any Japanese? Oh, uh, no, I, I can't speak Japanese. <laughs> I can't speak Japanese. But I actually speak, uh, I speak a little bit of Arabic and French. Yeah. But I don't speak Japanese at all. <laughs> uh-uh. You do, you do, you do speak um, a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I'm not fluent yet, no, even though I've lived still, here for like a year. Yeah, no, no, a year is still good. I've lived here for almost a year and I know like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> is there any favorite Japanese phrase or words? <laughs> I feel like I, I, I like saying gomenasai. gomenasai. I, was, I was just about to say it sounds so cute. Yeah. I think that's one of the cutest yeah, Japanese words I say. Like yeah. kawaii, you know, it's so kawaii. Kawaii. Like, it's, You too are kawaii. <laughs> you too, you too. <laughs> Is there any place you like to visit? I really like, I mean I love Harajuku. There's so yeah, much to do. Mm-hmm. I think I like Roppongi too. Roppongi. I mean I live in Roppongi, mm-hmm. but Roppongi Hills and everything. I love oh. Shake Shack. <laughs> yes, I love the food here. Just yeah. Genuinely, the food yeah, yeah. Is so good. I really do like Harajuku. I come yeah, here a lot. Yeah. I feel like. Do you mean in the whole of Japan or just Tokyo? Like of course, your friends. Oh yeah, as a school trip, we went to Hiroshima. Hiroshima. For three days. Yeah. I love Hiroshima, and we went to like Miyajima Island oh, yeah. and everything. It was really nice. Mm. Like, I love the nature here. There's skiing. There's the beach. Everything. It's so. It's so cool. I love it. Wow. Yeah. I liked Osaka. Yeah. Osaka no, I was went to cool. Osaka too. I went to yeah. Universal Studios. <laughs> You so did? Cool. Yeah, I want to so go there. Uh, yeah, Disney Sea. I went to Tokyo Disney Sea too. Yeah. yeah. It was so cool. You know, I liked how cheap the tickets were. Yeah, it's like 8,000 yen. It's not that much. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't that much. Compared like, to everywhere, everywhere in the world, if you go to Disneyland Paris, it's like $800 to get a ticket. Whoa. Yeah, it's so expensive. That's crazy. Yeah, but compared to Japan, it's like not expensive at all. Thank you for your Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for your cooperation. Where are you from? Israel. We're from Israel. How long have you been in Japan? For almost two, two and, weeks. and a half weeks. Yeah, yeah something like that. Is it your first visit to Japan? Yes. yes. Why did you decide to come to Japan? Wow. Oh. <laughs> it was a dream of ours for a long time. All the time we felt like it's turning into the future to come to Japan because everything here is so cool and vibrant and wow. a yes. lot of uh, shopping and nature and you have everything here so we wanted to see in our eyes and to eat oh. we love the japanese food yeah. oh, yeah. we're right. here for the food we're here for the food <laughs> and did you enjoy japanese food and culture yeah, and yeah, scenery yeah. very very much we loved it and we definitely will come back are you students and we started uh, to learn next year, so we will be students. When we come back to Israel, we are students. Wow. Yeah, this is our yeah. trip before the, before the studies starting. Where did you visit this trip? We started at Tokyo, mm-hmm. then we went to Osaka, Osaka yes. Kyoto. We went to Akune. We Kune. tried to see the Fuji, but uh, we didn't succeed. <laughs> I can see Mount Fuji here. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I did. We as both well. did it. Ah, so cute. Yeah. Did you buy it in Japan? Yeah, yeah, at wow. Uniqlo store. What was your first impression of Japan? Actually, this street, mm-hmm. and we're flying back um, in two days, so mm-hmm. we had to come back here because. We loved it so much. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. We ate the rainbow sandwich and uh, yeah? we visit everything here. Why are you just so fascinated in this street? Wow, it's so cool. You, you have everything. Mm. Shopping and people and all the lights and the... It's so cool. Yeah. I don't know. And all the stores close to each other, so yeah. it's easy to walk in. Yeah. <laughs> just found everything Ooh. you want. 
And if you're hot, you're going into the AC mm -hmm. and it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know this story before coming to Japan? Yes. We heard about it in TikTok and social media. Ah, yeah. 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 Our friends' recommendations and stuff like yeah. that. How did your friends recommend you about Harajuku? A lot of people came to Japan before us mm -hmm. because in Israel, um, in our age, everybody do a big trip. Yeah. From here, we're going to Vietnam and all of the East. Mm -hmm. So our friends that was here before us told us it's very, very cool street that we have to go and try everything. I can be shopping back here. Yeah. Did you buy? Yeah. Lululemon. Why Lululemon. Wow. <laughs> it's much cheaper here than in Israel. Almost every girl in Israel wants to come okay. here to buy it. Yeah, yeah, of course. I got a souvenir oh, from wow. here. Cool. Yeah. This is from here. And she got this short. Ah, oh, nice. Yes. Wow. Yeah, for sports. Is there anything you surprised here in Japan? I think I was surprised by the people. They're so nice and yeah. like everyone wants to help so much. Not like in in our country. No, in our country is that as well. But, but much. I was much surprised here. because a lot of Japanese don't know English that well. Yeah. And although that, they try yeah, to yeah, help yeah. and they open <laughs> Google Translate and yeah. they walk with you and they so want yeah. to help you. Yeah. Even if you they don't understand what I'm saying or mm -hmm. I don't understand them. And they're just very, very kind. And polite. Yeah, and very yeah. polite. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what, what I surprised. meant. That was different. Did you have any experience? like that you are helped by Japanese people. Just yesterday we went in the museum and I was uh, asking for the toilet and it was far oh, and yeah. the woman was supposed to um, stand next to the door mm -hmm. and she went with me all the way to the toilet just to show me where it is and I yeah. couldn't find it yeah. alone. But and yesterday we were in the Google Maps trying to find mm -hmm. our hotel and mm -hmm. a Japanese man just walked with us and was do you need help? I see you in the maps. You're not. Mm. Do you want me to show you where it is? And a lot of places. Yeah, like uh, everywhere. Yeah. If we needed a laptop to yeah. transfer the photos, yeah. someone gave us uh, our, his private uh, yeah. uh, laptop. Did you have no no trouble in this trip? It was hard. Yeah. The transportation here is so different than in oh, Israel. Yeah. So at the beginning, when we were landed at Tokyo. We had trouble with the <laughs> transportation, but when you get it, it's much easier. Yeah, yeah. and that everything it's, is in Japanese, so that's yeah, hard. Yeah. <laughs> and the people don't know a very good English, so that yeah. was a little bit hard, mm -hmm. but Google Translate is... Uh, yeah, yeah, Google Translate <laughs> makes the job. Thanks for Google. Yeah, <laughs> thank <Google>. Google. <laughs> Did you have any favorite photo taken in Japan? Wow, we have a lot. Uh, uh, our favorite it's so yeah. hard to choose yeah could you show me let's see i think the photos from the fushimi nari sharin this was in uh, osaka castle wow. that we loved and in fushimi nari oh, wow. beautiful yeah we loved japan yeah this one it's a oh, uh, very good one yeah. yeah yeah thank you so much thank you thank for your you. Yeah, it was nice to meet you nice. thank you for your cooperation mm -hmm. so yeah. where are you from from Germany. How long have you been in Japan? Uh, so we just arrived yesterday mm -hmm. and we will stay for two weeks. Where are you going to visit in this travel? We go to Tokyo, then Kyoto, Osaka, mm -hmm. um, Hiroshima, Hiroshima? Uh, Mia, Miyajima, Miyajima. Uh, Nikko, Nara. Wow! <laughs> yeah. And back to Tokyo back and to Mount, Tokyo. Fuji. Ah, yeah. Mount Fuji. Yeah. Wow, very packed! <laughs> I know, <yeah. laughs> we want to see a lot when we are here. Yeah, you must yeah. be busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this your first visit to Japan? Yes, yes, it is. Why did you decide to come to Japan? Because for us, where we are from, it's a super different culture yeah. and we love Asia, but we just been to Southeast Asia, which is different from here as well and we just uh, we love that it's authentic and very traditional here and also combined with the modern world and yeah, yeah. and the food is supposed the to food, be the food yes. <laughs> since when did you have interested in japan oh actually uh it just began like half a year ago because we are traveling since march mm -hmm. 
and uh, we've just been to Australia and uh, oh, yeah. we didn't want to go to Southeast Asia because uh, we are more interested in very cultural yeah. countries and so we wanted to go to Asia and we decided to come here. What is your first impression of Japan? Amazing. Amazing. Like, we yeah. love it. Yeah. Wow. The people are so kind, the food is amazing mm. and when we just walk through the city like with the lights it just looks very beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any impressive experience? Impressive. Yeah. So I think for us it would also be like Hiroshima mm -hmm. for example because we heard the stories about it yeah. but also you know, typical things that you cannot find anywhere else, like the, I think it's called shrines, mm -hmm. for example, in Mia. Do yeah, you know, like yeah. we don't have this, mm -hmm. or the temples. Mm -hmm. we, I've never been to a temple before, ah, so yeah. yeah, that would be a so, nice thing. So, Harajuku is a famous place in Germany? Mm -hmm. no, no, actually, it's not, mm -hmm. uh, but the Shibuya crossing ah, yeah. is known as the busiest one, I think, in the world, and yeah. so. We just went with the flow and decided to spontaneously get off here and yeah. we love it. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. Because we saw on Google that it's like the like a very hip yeah. very area. quarter, yeah. very hip district. Yeah. yeah. You said you enjoyed food. Yes. Yeah. So what Japanese food did you have? Uh, we had ramen, ramen basically. Ramen, ramen. Japanese curry, curry. Yeah. gyoza. Wow. Yeah. And miso soup. I love it. It's so good here. Yeah. Like yeah. And a bubble tea. Have really good bubble tea. Food. <laughs> bubble tea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And you know where we are from in Germany? It's uh, our hometown is Düsseldorf. Yeah. And we have a lot of Japanese people there. And we even oh, have a really? Japan day with a like it's a festival for it's Japan. a festival because oh, yeah, we have so yeah. many Japanese people oh, yeah. yeah so it's also interesting for us where <laughs> they are coming from and yeah. to understand their culture yeah yeah probably there are so many Japanese restaurants too a lot we yeah. have like whole streets full like a whole district Ramen full of restaurants. Japanese restaurants yeah. <laughs> wow is there any difference between Japanese restaurant your hometown and a real Japanese restaurant I think the food back home is already really good, but here it's There's even no better. Like yeah. it's always better in the country where you are in. Oh, yeah. in the also, how the restaurants look like is like in where we come from. It's very modern, and I feel like here it's more like the typical Asian style Authentic. houses. That's what we like. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. As Japanese people, we are very interested in about it. You are coming from Düsseldorf mm -hmm. yes. and there are so many Japanese people. Uh, what image that local people have to Japanese people? Uh, so I think a lot of people associate Japan with um, anime, mm -hmm. anime mm -hmm. and manga. Yeah. Because when we have this Japan day in our summertime, mm -hmm. the people go on the street and dress like anime, uh, and all of them. Yeah, yeah. like all of them. It's a whole community. Yeah. But it's amazing, like people love Japan, but for us it's just a little bit fun. So mm -hmm. not a lot of people from Germany come here, mm -hmm. um, so it's very exotic for us, yeah. What do you think? For Japanese people, living in Germany is very comfortable or...? Yes, I yes. think so, yes. Yeah. I think they feel really comfortable there because I think everyone accepts them, like there's yeah. no discrimination no. towards them. And I think they establish their own... Like they brought the culture, the Japanese culture, to Germany basically. Yeah. And we Germans love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We celebrate with them. Yeah. yeah. During a day in Japan, did you find anything you you cannot find in Germany? So first of all, the style of clothing, like uh, the fashion, it's super different than in Germany. Then the bubble teas. I mean, the bubble teas we do have, but not, but not like this. Like here, they are different. I would say. Then the like, I think they're called pop mart stores, like yeah. you know, or where you can buy these small figures, yeah. like anime figures or something. Yeah. 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 We don't have these things. Like with this vending machines and oh, all yeah. that. We don't have that back home. What's the difference between the fashion in Japan and Germany? Uh, I think here the people are more. Um, brave and expressive yeah. yeah like they dress more fashionable i think yeah. like also in germany but they are more modest i would yeah. say uh, i think here people dare to to be brave and really you know express their identity yeah, yeah. also the hair <laughs> color sometimes yeah very right exotic. white man yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 and what i realize is that here uh, i think you guys grew up with skin care and yeah. taking yeah. care of your hair uh, protecting from the sun ah, yeah. Yeah. because we're like the opposite <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, because in Germany or in other countries we grow up that you are very beautiful when you are tan, when you are brown. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. But here it's another um, ideal of um, beauty, of beauty, beauty yeah. image. Like yeah. you want to be a white skinned, you always wear an umbrella because of the yeah. sun. You don't see that in Germany at all. Uh, yeah. 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 But we are very impressed by it and uh, we also want to start Ooh. our skin care. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you are very fashionable. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if we visit Gisselbel, what seasons should we visit? Oh, so our summer, I think, would be best. Yeah. So it's the summer here as well. So 25 to 30 degrees, oh, but nice. it's really nice. Yeah. And it's a, I would say it starts middle of May and then till end of September. Yeah. Wow. yeah. You should really visit Germany. I think you would like it. Yeah. yeah. If there are no limit, what season do you want to come to Japan? The cherry blossom. Yeah. 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 Uh, spring. So I think it's March, April. Around yeah. There. In April and May, uh, there are full of cherry blossom in Japan. Yeah, yeah amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So we're a bit sad that we didn't manage to come here in April or March, but yeah. we will be back. This is live, right? Yeah, yeah. In this trip, what do you want to do most in Japan? Ex Eat yeah. and see like really culture, for example, maybe watch a tea ceremony, ah, talk yeah. to a geisha, yeah. Yeah. see yeah. the temples, the shrines, yeah. like the yeah. typical cultural thing. Yeah, so in Kyoto we already are planning to do a tea ceremony wow. and meeting up with a geisha. In summer, especially on the weekend, there are some festival in shrine and temple. So. Mm -hmm. If you can, you have a chance to mm -hmm. look for, you can visit there. Oh, so thank you. So you we can know that. Thank Japanese you. Japanese traditional custom. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. 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 Thank